Hey everyone, having problem with the trim and extend command in AutoCAD? You are at the right place. In today's tutorial, we're diving into two of the most essential commands in AutoCAD, trim and extend. We will also change some variables and see their effects on these two commands. Whether you're just starting out or brushing up on your skills, mastering these tools will make your drafting workflow much faster and cleaner. First of all, let's have a short recall on trim and extend. We can get these two commands from here. Or we can just type TR for trimming and type EX for extend command. For trimming the lines we type TR and press enter. Then select the reference line from where excess line is to be trimmed off and press enter and click at the part which needs to be trimmed off. Like this. Give command select reference line and click on trimming part. Or if we want to trim just some part of line segment, we type TR and press enter and again press enter one more time instead of selecting the reference line. Then move the mouse cursor over which we want it to be trimmed off and just click on it. Like this. TR enter, again enter, click on the line segment to be trimmed off. For extending the lines we type EX and press enter. Then select the reference line up to where we need to extend and press enter and click on the line which needs to be extended. Like this. Give command select reference line and click on extending line. Or if we want to extend the line just up to the first crossing line, we type EX and press enter. Again press enter one more time instead of selecting the reference line. Then click on it. Like this. EX enter, again enter. Then click on the line segment to be extended. There is one another good function while trimming or extending. We can alter the command from trim to extend or vice versa just by pressing and holding the shift key. Let's see. Let's give trim command, again press enter without selecting the reference line. We can see the preview of trimming part. Don't click yet, press and hold shift key. Now we can see the preview of extension when we move the cursor above the line. Click with the shift key on will extend the line. Again let's try for extend command. Let's give extend command, again press enter without selecting the reference line. We can see the preview of extension. Don't click yet, press and hold shift key. Now we can see the preview of trimming when we move the cursor above the line. Click with the shift key on will trim the line. So, these were the basic concept about trim and extend. But sometimes we may suffer from some irritating changes which occur suddenly. Suddenly some variables changes automatically. So, for solving these problems, we will talk about three commands for changing variables which affects on our trimming and extending command. They are number one, T-R-I-M-E-X-T-E-N-D-M-O-D-E, trim mode, number two, E-D-G-E-M-O-D-E, edge mode, and number three, T-R-I-M-M-O-D-E, trim mode. First of all let's talk about trim extend mode. Type trim extend mode command and see its variable, we can see it's zero. Let it be. Let's type trim command. Here we can see it's saying to select the object. That is reference object. We can trim or extend by selecting the reference line like normally when the trim extend mode variable is set to zero. So now change the trim extend mode variable to one and give trim command. Now it tells us to select objects to trim. We can directly go on trimming. Even the individual line can be trimmed off. Similarly we can extend also. Type EX and press enter. We can move cursor above the line it will show the preview of its extension towards the next crossing line. So this is the difference between variable zero and one in trim extend mode. We can change the variable as per our comfort. Let's change it back to zero. Now let's talk about edge mode. Type edge mode and see its variable. We can see its value is zero. Let's see what happens when we trim. Let's give trim command, press enter again instead of selecting reference line. Move the above the line to be trimmed. We can see it will be trimmed from this crossing line, or let's extend in this situation. Type EX and press enter instead of selecting baseline. Move the cursor above this line, we can see it will be extended till the next crossing line. 
So now let's change the edge mode variable to 1. Type edge mode, press enter, type 1 and press enter. Let's type TR and press enter. Again press enter. Now move the cursor over the trimming line. We can see the line is not being cut from the crossing line reference. It has taken the consideration of the projection of lines which is coming toward the line. This type of trimming may sometime irritate us. We can also try for extension. E, X, enter and again enter. Move cursor above extending object. We can see it's not extended up to next crossing line but considering the meeting point of line which will come and cross while projecting. We can set the variable of edge mode as per the nature of work we are going through. Now finally it's trim mode. We can see the difference from this lines. When trim mode variable is set to zero, while filleting, the curve is formed. But the extra lines are not trimmed off. Like this. Now let's change the trim mode variable to 1. Let's fillet. Type F and press enter, type R and press enter. Give radius and select the lines. Now we can see curve is formed and also the extra lines are trimmed off. So in case we are having the problem in trim and extend, just try changing the variables of these three commands, trim extend mode, edge mode, and trim mode. This should certainly solve the problem. That brings us to the end of this AutoCAD tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and that you're feeling more confident using the tools we covered today. If you learned something new, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content just like this. Got any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in the next video? Drop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and happy drafting!